In this video, I will give you a short overview of the fantastic new features in OnSync 5.0. I will talk about the new flat design user interface and color branding, the full duplex audio between dial-in and web users, the new control options of dial-in users from the web interface, and the new telephony controls in the admin center. Let's first take a look at the flat design user interface in the account center. We've stayed as close as possible to previous OnSync versions, so you won't get confused by any rearranged elements. They've just stayed where they were before, and we've just redesigned them, so they have now a much clearer, much more modern look. The navigation is now more fluent than in previous OnSync versions. And it's just much easier to navigate through the elements. Let's have a look at the new color branding option. You find it under branding and then colors. The color branding option makes it possible to design pretty much every element in the account center and as well in room. So you can style, for example, titles, links, buttons, background colors, and anything you would like to. So let's just try that in the account center. We're gonna change the buttons to a little bit more, like a, let's say an orange color. So we're gonna pick that. And you can also just copy and paste colors. They're basically just hex codes, so you just um, copy and paste that here and as you can see the same color appears here. Let's make that a little bit darker and then you scroll down, go to update and now the colors of the buttons have changed. If you don't like the colors you've set you can just reset them to defaults. Let's take a look at the new user interface in a session. So we'll just start a new session. Also in the session design, we've tried to stay as close as possible to previous OnSync versions. So we've redesigned the whole user interface. For example, made this bar bigger, redesigned the icons here, and gave it a more modern look. But you can still use OnSync like you've used it before. So just resize elements, drag them around, reorder them. You can choose between different workspace views. Or for example, open up the media library. The new design will make your sessions much more fluent, much more intuitive, and for all the participants, a much better experience than before. The next new feature in OnSync 5.0 I want to show you is the full duplex audio between dial-in and web users. Let's go to our account center to account settings and change the default session audio to hybrid audio. Update it and then we'll start a new session. Phone participants or moderators can now dial in with the dial-in number and the access code. Let's just enter the access code. And shortly they'll appear in the participants list. With the new full duplex audio between dial-in and web users, 
Now, web users can not only hear people dialing in via phone, which has always been the case, but also phone users can hear web users now. We've added various new control options in the web interface to control phone users. For example, a web user and a phone user can now be merged into a single user, just by drag and drop. And it can also be split again. A single phone user can now be muted or unmuted by a web moderator. A web moderator can mute and unmute all phone users. and can also disconnect all phone participants. It's also possible to lock a session for phone participants, so no more phone users can join the session. Let me show you one more little feature. You can now put phone users on hold in a session lobby. Let's edit our session and activate the lobby. And we'll start our session. Now phone users appear up here after calling in. And you can just move them to the participants list. In OnSync 5.0 we have added new telephony controls to the admin center. You can find them in the main menu under telephony. Here you can add phone sync servers. You can enter name, the server URL and later also the RTMP protocol and port. It's also possible to add a gateway. You can also define a name, the gateway account and select the phone sync server you're using. The telephony controls also let you add a bridge API. You have various options to enter here. Your name, the API endpoint, the API username, the API password and custom variables. The last new option we've added are phone numbers. Here you can add phone numbers that users can use to dial into a session. I hope I could give you a little overview of the new features in OnSync 5.0. If you want to have more detailed information about all our new features, go to the release notes on our website.